So we are bringing in a lot of different voices and perspectives over the course of the Chauvin trial to dig into the issues that are surrounding it. Today we'd like to welcome Keith Mays, a professor of African American and African Studies at the University of Minnesota. Professor Mays, thank you so much for joining us today. Chief Arredondo uh -huh. took the stand and gave pretty gripping testimony. He said this in no way followed policy of police procedures. He called it a violation of humanity. How powerful do you think his testimony was for the jurors? I thought it was extremely powerful. It was riveting. Uh, it was informative. Uh, he laid out exactly what the appropriate policy and procedures are uh, based on the Minneapolis Police Department's manual. He talked about uh, de-escalation de tactics and the way they were supposed to work uh, as it relates to somebody who may be uh, intoxicated or on drugs, somebody who may have mental health issues. Uh, he talked about the code of conduct and how uh, police officers were supposed to follow that. Uh, also, I thought it was important for him to address the issue of how officers can uh, only use force uh, appropriate, as he said, to the situation. Uh, I thought that was really, really uh, uh, important for him to, to state and to, to, to have us as the public to be privy to department procedure and policy. We don't often get, get a chance to see uh, that language and, and, and how that language was supposed to work. So I thought it was important. And Professor, now that we have had a couple of days of witnesses, the public has had a chance to hear what they have to say. What have you noticed about the general mood, the, the feeling there in Minnesota? Um, are people kind of on edge? Do they feel like this is going the way they wanted to see it go? What, what are you noticing about the mood? I think the mood is still generally positive. I think that it was hard to see how the prosecution uh, came off of that first week of testimony that was so emotional and so gripping in the way in which the bystanders got up on, on the stand and testified to what they remember and what they experienced. I think day one uh, of the second week, they could not have, have started any better. I think that their chief residency doctor and what he had to say in terms of uh, George Floyd uh, dying because of asphyxia, asphyxiation, as he said, and that was more than likely what caused his death and not the drugs in his system. So I thought the uh, day one of week two uh, got off to an important start for the prosecution. There have been a lot of there has been a lot of emotional testimony. And as you mentioned today, more fact finding, talking about the exact policy, talking about uh, the asphyxiation. And uh, do you believe that the prosecution is doing a good job in presenting their case and also kind of poking holes in the defense's case before the defense even has a chance to call up their witnesses? Yes, I think the defense uh, is on the defense. Uh, excuse the, the pun there. But I think that the defense is trying to come up with all kinds of, of, of counterfactuals and hypotheticals to sort of poke holes in the case. But I think the fact remains is that even if uh, the defense believes that Officer Chauvin had to use that kind of force, the question becomes, was it excessive? And I think the chief and the doctor today proved that it was excessive, even if the procedure and the practice by which they use that to subdue uh, a defendant or, or a person on the street uh, could be appropriate in their eyes, but the problem with that was that we can see that it was excessive. Nine minutes and, and 20 some odd seconds is just too much to have a knee on a man's neck and, and think that that person could survive, especially when they talked about the tactics that they, they are, are, are using as police officers on the streets. All right, well, Professor Mays, we really appreciate your insight. And I'm sure we'll be checking back with you and others out there as this case moves on. So thank you very much for your oh, time today. Thank you. Thank you.